about a hundred miles in Chicago. And then here's the map of the province that you're in. And these are about three miles. Mm. Okay, so traveling from color area to color area isn't super, super difficult. No, not too bad. So we could take the road to... Morovian city in about a week or so. Morovia in general is typically a forest <clears throat> province. It's like very wild, completely made up of the desert forests and the marshlands, surrounded by mountains. Mm -hmm. Hold on, G, are you back? Yeah. Is Victoria here. I haven't looked at this card. Yep. I heard somebody I'm here. Easy, so I'm okay. Here. So. Surrounded by the Platalan Mountains on the north and east sides. The Sleeping River winds through, if you check the other map. Continent is Fernand. And Morovia is one province. Uh, Sin Sylvia is another province. The Cliffs of Carrion are kind of like their own area, as is the Paladin Desert. Teldon is the largest province, and it's a Highlands province. Bordered to the south by the Straits of Temple, the Boren Sea kind of encroaches, and then the edges uh, that are not on the map of Fernan to the north are all uh, ocean. Those maps aren't done yet. So Morovia, you are in Heartfelt, which is a very small village, like half of a mile by half of a mile. But the surrounding areas that are cleared are considered the same like township because it's lots of farms, farmland. Northeast is Carver's Canyon, and north is uh, Silverleaf Lake, huge lake. Um, Leafly Village is to the west of Silverleaf Lake. It's a very small village, just like Heartfelt. Um, Cinder Swamp is to the southwest, bordering between Teldon and Morovia, and the marshlands separate Cinsylvia and Morovia. Um, there's one town along the road between Heartfelt and Braden or in Moravian City, which is Bradenville. Everything else is wild. Nice. <laughs> also, can't hardly see it, but the Wolves Academy for children. <laughs> it's at the beginning of the Platala Mountains, the edge of the Dicer Forest. I saw that and it delights me. Should not be for children. It's for bad children. <laughs> Shipped <laughs> off to the mountain. Sick. Thanks for the map. You are welcome. 
How do we kill G today? Okay, so it's me. I keep DCing and I cannot figure out why. Mm. How dare you? I have a plan. You can try. He has a plan for it. All right. Hopefully I stop DCing. I don't know why that's happening, but... <sighs> Where we last left off, however, you were in the Lord's Manor. Yep, yeah, got my bird somehow from some dude who sold it to him. Correct. And you were discussing that you wanted to go back and visit the priest. Is that still the plan? Yes. I think G was able to get the stuff at the end of the session. Didn't we agree that he picked up the stuff he needs, or do you still need to go there, G? I think he said he just wanted to foci or something, like focus or component or potion or something. So he had a component pouch for mugging and then yeah. a uh, <clears throat> alchemy set for me. I don't know if there was another thing. I can't remember now. But... And I've been offered the leather set, which I denied because I want to... Wear my tights and my my band shirt. Nice. But when we come back, I'd pick up that quote unquote custom set. If we come back. <laughs> yeah, if we all come back except you. Alright, so we go into the monk, uh, the, the priest, or what are we doing? I think he got the stuff from the priest, so it's up to us to, I guess, leave the village if we want to do some investigating. Yeah. Isn't, uh, shit, what's his name? The butler escorting us? Yeah, he's yes. supposed to take oh, us Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We'll do that. But are you guys making any stops or anything first? Uh, no. We stocked up before. I think we're, we're good. good. All right. Because, like, my leather armor is not done, right? She said come back, like, later. I'm assuming it's only been like an hour. Yes. Cool. Yeah, let's follow the butler. Also, you're supposed to be composing a song, just, just yeah. so you know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's going to be a good song, too. <laughs> He's been working on it all week. I was going to work on it after the game, <laughs> and then I forgot. <laughs> on a so you find yourselves following, I almost said Buttersby here, Giancarlo, and he is leading you out of the village down a dirt road to the east. Completely silent. He is not talking at all. And he is also walking very slowly. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is always when you're walking with NPCs. <laughs> John Carlo, can we speed this up? I was given specific orders to lead you to the vicinity of the crimes. I was not told how fast to go. And I do not particularly feel like having my new breeches spattered with this mud or any of the other excrement along these roads. So as I see it, you should follow me and sip it. All right, we'll just wait for another back. attack on your lord's daughter. He stops and turns around and rolls his eyes at you, straightens the lace of his cuffs, and then turns back around and resumes walking. You guys can see uh, along the Is road. Is the mayor with us? No. no. He can't. Just see butler. I see his image on my screen. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I might have. Uh, Copy paste. Copy pasted it. I'm zoomed out. Oh, Bailey Shaw, there he is. Bye. His presence leaves. Uh -oh. They're back. 
I'm sorry, what was that? Can you hear you? I said, and I'm back. Oh. Discord keeps <laughs> you seeing me for some reason. Yeah. So you guys can see around you, uh, at most, 60 feet. Um, the sides of the road are full of forest trees, uh, brush, and bushes. Uh, the road is a well-worn road, fairly still muddy. You can hear the sounds of water nearby, and there's not much to look at. You do, however, see uh, up ahead uh, what looks like some broken pieces of cart in the roadway. Can I that hide behind this tree? That wasn't the one we smashed before, is it? No, it's not. Can I stealth behind this tree? Yep. I'm going to move up a bit in front of uh, Giancarlo. Just a twelve. And see if I can increase my my view from this point. Harry, Gene, what are y'all doing? I'm going to stand towards the back, but near Giancarlo. Okay. Right behind you. You can right. see the remnants of a broken cart, and there are some broken crates and barrels. Um, there, The barrels are full of uh, little pieces of grain uh, that are littered about the wagon, but there's nothing of substance inside of it that you can see uh, from where you are. Can we hear anything or... At this point, can we hear anything? Any movement? Any roll perception? Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll perception. Let me remember how to do that. One second. Can I hold an action, Cricket? Sure. Just want to hold a vicious mockery in case one of my allies gets ambushed investigating the cart. Uh, from what you see, you don't hear anything. Okay. You don't see anything out of the ordinary, other than the broken cart. And um, Giancarlo at that moment just kind of, he's like, we're here. And if you no longer need me, I am going to return home. Slowly, I presume. I shall take my own time. He bows and turns around and begins to walk away. Ugh, that guy's the worst. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask the party, how do, how do you guys uh, want to approach this situation? Are there footprints? More importantly, is there loot? When, when Has anybody approached at all yet? Other no, than... we haven't moved yet. No. We're just standing okay. back we'll at the, the cart. <laughs> okay. I am hiding. I guess, yes, then. All right, I'm going to approach with him. I'm going to keep my distance and keep watch. Nice. Gene, I want you to uh, roll investigation. Hell yeah, brother. Three. You are kind of uh, hesitant to, to get too close, but from what you see, you just see the broken items that I described. It looks like it's been looted. Um, but you have yet to approach, uh, ears, are you also investigating? Um, yeah, I'm going to move a little bit closer. One square. <laughs> right up <laughs> beside it? <laughs> yeah. A little bit. A little bit. All right. Was it investigation? Probably investigation, yes. Okay. 19. That's a natural 20. Wow. I see everything. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can see that there is... Uh, it's definitely been ransacked already. That the wood from the barrels has been split open, and that uh, the crates have been cracked open uh, with lids kind of scattered across the sides of the crates. Uh, everything has been opened and ransacked and taken out. Much of the cart itself has also been ransacked. Like the wheels, for the most part, are gone, except for one that's broken. Um, Hardware off of the cart has been taken. Like a car on cinder blocks. <laughs> exactly. Basically, it's kind of like rusted up against some rocks. There's not really anything. Can I can I tell how long ago this was or 
Or is that a different type of role to... Do you guys hear when I leave? Not no, really. No. Just you. Oh, okay. I feel well, like my computer's doing weird things with Roll20 open in Discord. My Do Discord I... just keeps DCing like every like two minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm right just back, using but... the browser. I think I'm going to swap. Something's weird. I like it, though, so that's unfortunate. Well, maybe it's it takes a lot of memory or something. How do I stop? Do I know? I mean, I'm assuming me, but do, does my character know if this is uh, related to the town in any way? Are there any markings or anything to indicate that? Oh, well, yeah. And, and links it back yeah. to the town. Um, you can... You can see that the um, lids from the casks have the Lord's name on it, Sha, like a gold mm -hmm. stamp. It's much worn away, but this is definitely his shipment. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did he say was in the shipment? Suddenly what? you hear a screeching sound. Ah! From behind you. It's and, not much uh, of a screech and more of a. <laughs> oh, is it John Carlo? You hear the, ah! Yes, it's John Carlo. I From the direction well, that John least... Carlo has been walking. At least we know he didn't get far. Oh no, John Carlo. We have oh. to go get, find him. We have to go help him. Do you guys want to rush to John Carlo's aid? I guess. I jog to John Carlo. Well, casually. <laughs> I, I fly. <laughs> Not get muddy. <laughs> Gene, do you agree? As you reach John Carlo, you see that his head is bleeding. <gasps> and that he's been uh, attacked. Oh, he's no. got a massive cut on his forehead. And he's crying softly. John Carlo, what happened? Near? Did you trip over something slowly? <laughs> <laughs> No, he says. I something something attacked me. Is it a? Did you get a good look at it, or is it like? It could have been anything. This wild wilderness that I should never be out in. <laughs> so you're walking slowly, and your perception is terrible. What the heck, John Carlo? I was a little focused on the dinner settings. Oh, I had a dear. plan. Gal, Just help him up. A little bit of time help I get to up. myself. Harry nods, thinking, yeah, that's very important. Dinner plans are quite important. And uh, Giancarlo looks at Harry, like, like really like, oh, you get me. <laughs> you want us to escort you back, Giancarlo, since we know where to start? Well, I'm more concerned that there's something out here. It's clearly something that is just uncivilized, savage. And just as he's saying that, uh, another rock comes launching at you guys and like crashes and rolls down the road in between you. How big a rock are we talking? Uh, about the size like of both of your hands put together. Ah, oh, shit, that would hurt. Okay. Artillery! The rock was thrown. You see... On the hill above the road. Bandits! <laughs> hiding under the trees. Bandits. Band on the what? Side of the road. Banditos. Gallywags. Oh, oh, oh. oh no. Bird That's man, a lot Randy of them. said. Go ahead and roll initiative. Can you put up the initiative tracker? Sure. How do I get uh, it I don't know oh, what I do wrong. Sheet. Can you add me to the turn tracker, please, and thank you? I don't know I why. I'm I think it's probably working, because but... you don't have a character sheet, like... Here, let me try this. There oh, you go. Yeah, that worked. 
the think same I role got, too. Oh, it's the same <laughs> role. What the you fuck? got the exact same role. That was trippy. I was like, "What did I? Oh wait, didn't I get that? What are those? Wait, why did mine roll with disadvantage? Um, you can t you see how you have the number here. You can click the four and change it. But I wonder why it did that in the first place. Uh, I must have clicked something. I think you might have auto advantage because haven't you been rolling twice like for stuff? I I do that as well, but I think. I mean, I still have it set on, but it doesn't do it when I do initiative. Yeah. It only does it oh. when I do attacks. Well, uh, I don't use the same app as you, so I don't. Maybe know. I accidentally clicked it twice. My computer keeps clicking okay. twice for some reason. Excuse me. It's a weird mouse setting, or else your uh, mouse needs a driver update. Mine used to do that. Your mouse can drive. <laughs> it drives a tiny car. Uh... A little Barbie car. Mm -hmm. All right. What was your role? Spoken bandits. Oh, I already put it up there. You can take me off. I just dra dragged in my character sheet and stuff. Things just work. They work when you're super smart. <sighs> Two of you roll again to see who goes first. You want us to roll, or can we just choose between Harry and? Because um... Harry, you you're roll... Harry, you're probably faster. But I want you to roll me. a D four. Oh, okay. Uh, Harry, I think you're faster than me, you know, with your dexterity. Oh, dex wise. D four. Why is it doing that? Is it, is it me? Yeah, you're rolling twice for like everything. What the hell? I don't know. I'm going to restart my computer. Okay. Uh, whenever we check for or er, measure tied initiative, are we always going to roll a d4, or can we just base it off of our dexterity? Mm, you're always going to roll a d4. Wow. Hey, G. Yeah. Would you mind, uh, while she's restarting, uh, feeding the dogs and unlocking the front door? All right, I'll lock the front door, but yeah, while I'll I run to the bathroom. Be back. You gonna try and take anything this time? Yours? Take anything? You gonna try and tank anything this oh, time? Oh, tank. Um, oh, you mean from the game? No, I'm a ranged fighter. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> I'm gonna be behind you. Yeah, don't worry. When you go down, only I can bring you back up. Good, 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 good. Uh, we're just taking an intermission. Oh, okay. I figured I'd go with when in doubt restart. Yeah, try rolling. Did it fix it? Yeah. All right, you go first, anyways. Hey. Oh, it does fix it. Nice. And there I go. And here I come. 
I will take aim at bandit six and shoot an arrow. Wait, it's not your turn. Oh, I thought it was my turn. Not you just, did turn. you go before me? Oh, okay. I think in my back, head did so. not actually do. Just because you're feeling rushed right now. Do you guys eat the ginger in your sushi? Yeah. I don't eat a lot of sushi. I'll probably, I usually eat like all or most of the ginger and then like some or half the wasabi. Kind of yeah, depends like on the, the mood. I slather it wasabi. I sit and munch on the ginger. You ready, G? You're muted, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's your turn. You're first up. Okay. Um, let's have a look. You got this, buddy. Nice. So, bonus action. You're muted. So. Sorry. <laughs> I heard him through a cricket swing. That was trippy. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to move up to this guy. Bonus action, I'm going to Hexblade Curse. Uh, which is just <clears throat> my proficiency as damage bonus. And then I'm going to attack this Bandito. Nice. Um, where is my attack? Oh, there it is. Um, when you move up to that bandit you can see further now hooray oh god So you hit. Nice. Uh, five plus two, so seven piercing damage. I just noticed the flaming hellhound next to that bandit. <laughs> I'm concerned. Can you guys see the health on, uh, can you see no. the numbers? Only no. you see that. Okay, I just want to make sure you can't see it. So. Yeah, it's so helpful. <sighs> All right, so you do seven piercing damage. Yep. That's my job. Anything else that you do? That's it. My turn. Sorry, I was reading something real quick. Oh no, you're fine. I was updating my mouse driver. Let's go! Alright. Now, I shoot Bandit 6. Assuming my mouse will work now. Have it out for 6, eh? Screw you, number 6. Wait, 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 wait! Ah, it's too late, I already rolled. Alright, 19. 19 definitely hits. Hiya! Can you do both of those numbers? I don't know why I did two, but I'm four. I think it's doing the auto advantage thing. So. Oh, okay. Four was. I do four damage. I rolled a one. You hit him for four. I sure did. 
You hear him cry out on top of the hill. Oh! Ow! <laughs> and let me see how this works. Sorry. I should have checked that. Giancarlo's knees are knocking. You can hear them rustling in his breeches. Drop of sweat. It's rolling down his forehead. He looks terrified. <laughs> and then Harry, realizing what he can do now and saying doy in his head, he points at his eyes and he points his eyes at six and he casts Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Booyah. It's the best one you forget. And is that your turn? And that's my turn. All right, Gravy. Uh, five, I probably don't see them because Jesus. So. Um. Okay. Let me just. That's twenty-five feet. I say to Gail and Harry. Um, let's clear out these three as fast as possible and try to get to Jean. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers on Bandit 3 for a spell save 13 and you, Wisdom. You prepared Vicious Mockery previously, right? Um, I assume that ended because... Uh, we had okay. to go run over to the old guy. And you're casting this on three, correct? Yep. And he fails his wisdom save. Uh, he you takes ten points. Ten psychic damage. And he must immediately use his reaction to move as far as his speed allows away from me. So he screams at the top of his lungs, clutching his head, and he runs out of your view to the Ooh. south. Um, and then I'll not hide, but you know, hide behind this tree. And uh, as a bonus action, I will send a bardic inspiration towards who's Gail. I assume Gail hasn't gone back. So. Just letting you know, it's a d6. Not That's not the roll. I just don't want to forget. Thank you. All right, Gail. That's okay, you. My turn. All right, I would like to rage. So, and then I'm going, I'm going to run up here. I want to kind of make sure neither one of them can just run away without getting an opportunity to attack. And one second. There's about a five foot ledge, like a hillside, uh, between them and the plane that you're on. Is it is it a is is it like a hill or is it? It's like a muddy drop off, like a hill. Like you see the where the cut in is, like right mm -hmm. where you're up against. Can I get up the hill then? Yeah. All right, let's see one. Jump and scare the five, shit. Five, ten, fifteen. 20. I don't want to be right between them, but 25. Yeah, can I get here? Well, you move past them. That that would That's make still them within their five, right? still within five. Okay. I'm always confused by that. No, oh, yeah, they're flanking him. Yeah, they have advantage on him. Are they still flanking if they're on the same side like that? Or I'm not sure. Oh, I see what you're saying. Directly across. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you guys are saying. It's something about being directly across, but I mean, it's still his turn, right? Yeah, so what's your move? Yeah. Okay, so they're flanking me and they have advantage, yeah? 
Well then, no reason that I shouldn't attack re recklessly. <laughs> so I'm going to attack reckless. There's no such thing as double advantage, right? No. So I'm going to attack recklessly, which gives me advantage on my attack, but it also gives them advantage, right? Who did you put your inspiration on, Gravy? Me. I put it on Gil right now. Okay. Or there's one on Gil. So, and I, I have time to use that, right? How long does that last? You got time, buddy. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to attack Bandit 6. Seventeen. Oh, yeah, seventeen. Yep, you hit six. Okay. Dang. Uh, that is fourteen damage. Uh, you instantly kill him. All right. How are you going to do this amazing move? Um, with my rage, I just ran ran up there ran through them, and with the velocity of my momentum and everything, I just decapitated the first one. And now it's just me and the other one. He doesn't have a number on him, but the other one. You and four. Okay. Well, shit. Fine. And I think that is my turn. Right. But he'll still, Cricket, just for your information, because I attacked recklessly, he still has advantage on me, even though I killed number six for this next turn, for his next turn. Okay. And everyone will have advantage on him. Yeah, every everyone. But. So, wait, somebody start saying something because he cut out. But I was just cheering in excitement. Oh, okay. It just cut out. I didn't hear you. Yeah. So, um. Bandit one here uh, was unveiled from his position with the Hellhound here in the trees when Gene attacked Bandit three or two. I can't see that far. He's going to uh, move forward around the tree here and he is going to aim for you, Gene. He is going to attack you with a crossbow. Oh no. Uh, 18 hits. I assume that hits. So he hits you for five piercing damage. Okay. All right, Bandit 4 here is close enough to Gel. That he swings his scimitar. That doesn't hit you, correct? 21 would hit. I don't think he has advantage. Yeah, he so does. Everyone gets... has advantage of Gel because he used reckless attack. Oh, I thought you were saying uh, everyone has advantage on the guy that's up there because of what Gel did. Uh, so a 21 does hit then, and he hits you for four slashing damage right across the shoulder. And it's reduced to two. Yep, because of your armor. Yeah. Or your things. Armor spell. Yep. All Ready. right, bandit three. What the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, that was the one that ran. He comes back in uh, to the to here, and he takes uh, aim for Harry down below with his crossbow. Ben, nice try, but it doesn't hit. He looks oh. defeated. He looks incredibly sad and defeated. Bandit six. Is dead. Is dead, so. And then the hellhound. 
decides to rush Jean. I'm just taking forever to load his thing, sorry. It's okay. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. I'll just keep opening it. And he lunges to bite you. Jesus. That hits. Alright. Hit you for seven piercing damage. Oh my god. That is snoring so loudly. Should I poke her? And it is your turn again, Gene. Nice. Uh, I'm going to attack Bandit 2, but with my bonus action, I'm going to hex him. You can see that the, as the Hellhound uh, lunged for you and attacked you, that is very small. He's still a puppy. Cute. Being trained by Bandit 1. And you're going to attack Bandit 2? Yep. Okay. I'm going to attack Bandit 2. Um, let me just quickly... Oh, my spell slots. Okay. Um, bada bing, bada boom. Nat 20. Dang. So you hit Bandit 2. He takes... Uh, nine plus two plus two d six. <laughs> so that's gonna kill him. Another eight damage, and he dies, and that heals me. Um, by two. Well played. And then the hellhound is now. I think I can move my hex this turn. I don't know. Let me read it. Okay, I gotta wait till next turn. Okay, that's fine. That's my turn. Harry. I'll take... I can hit the Hellhound without hitting Jean, right? Yes. I take aim and uh, shoot at the Hellhound. It's doing it again. 23. You hit? How is that possible? Ah, okay. Seven piercing. You hear the hellhound kind of squeal. It's your arrow lands between its shoulder blades. Has your character now I sheet feel popped bad. out? It is. Have you tried seeing if double, double rolls like uh, if you're not? Because it's rolling with advantage, but then it's rolling twice as well. So it's like, it doesn't make any sense. My mouse is double clicking still. Oh, I see. I know that there is a setting in Windows that you can make your mouse double click, but it usually when it happened to me, that setting was fine. It was just... My mouse software was fucked. I just updated. I've had plenty of mice die, and that's how they go out. Double clicking. It might just be dying. It's pretty old. Go away. What is this setting switch? You're fine. 
All right. Gravy. I'm going to hit Bandit 3 with a cantrip. I need a wisdom saving throw. Kind of sighs like fuck. We've been through this before. Okay. Yay! He withstands your vicious mockery. Sixes thumb up to your his nose and like wiggles his fingers at you from well, top of the hill. <laughs> I will cast uh, my last part of inspiration on G. Appreciate it. It's my turn. Please get away from me. Sorry, honeybee's being a bitch again. Pawing me up. Growling at me. Oh, you're in trouble now. I warned you. And so fucking bad all the time. <laughs> the other dogs are sleeping. Be good, babies. It causes trouble if you're asleep. Well, they just ate. Got full bellies. Honeybees. Didn't eat her food. She wants whatever we have. All right, gal. It's all you. I'm going to attack Bandit 4. Or at least to tempt it. I'm going to use the Bardic Inspiration. I got a 9, so I'm going to try to add to that with the... Uh, you said 1d6, right? Yep. 6. So that is... That hits. 15 total. Okay, I'm going to roll my attack. And that is 6 damage total. Okay. Bandit 4 screeches out in pain as you slice through his left arm. All right, good deal. And uh, that's the end of my turn. Uh, Bandit 1 takes aim at Gene again with his crossbow. Miss. His arrow goes breezing through the branches behind Gene. And he moves behind the tree. Bandit 4 here reaches out again with his scimitar in retaliation, Gel. Swiping again with a 19. Hits. Hit. Big hit. He hits for two more slashing damage. So Did you go one. reckless, G? Or Gel? No. no, I didn't do reckless that time. But okay. Oh, sorry. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. His armor halves the damage, though. Yep. The rage. It's still raging. The rage! Bandit 3. Here laughs hysterically as he again tries to crossbow. Harry. His arrow literally just goes into the ground in front of him, like his strength is completely gone. And baby hellhound. Lunges out at Jean again. 
to try to nip him. Hello? Get on, girl. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Land. I'm going to use my luck oh, and yeah. make him reroll. <laughs> That's my last luck point, by the way, for today. Uh, 13 does not hit. Oof. Oh, played. You kind of, uh, lunges out again to try to nip at you and uh, catches the edge of his tooth on your knuckle and hurts himself. Kind of shrieks and cowers. I see. And uh, Jean, He's that's your pain. turn. Uh, what are the chances I can uh, tame this <laughs> puppy? Well, as a bonus action, I will move my hex over to him. And then I will attack with my dagger. Big surprise. I will add my bardic inspiration. Does a 10 hit? 10 does not hit. <laughs> okay. Oh, and uh, he has disadvantage on dex rolls, so like... Um, okay. Acrobatics and shit. Not that it's probably going to matter, but. Harry? Alright, I've got one of Sheena's old mice hooked up. Let's see if that makes a difference. I'm going to shoot at Bandit 3. He has not gotten enough attention. Assuming I can get this mouse to. There's text in the way. I think that's a 16. 16 hits. All right. Boosh. Five. And that's band at the three, right? Yep. And your um, piercing damage is going to kill him. What does this look like? Shot through the heart. <laughs> kind of just falls over backwards, clutching his chest. Dead so. Perfect. Must uh, pivot closer to everyone else in John Carlo, and that'll be my turn. Gravy. Uh, how does G look in terms of uh, wear and tear? I'm definitely I'm asking hurt, G. but yeah. not, like, crippled by my injuries, if that makes sense. All right. How much health do you have left? 10 out of 20. Mm. How's the dog look in terms of uh, wear and tear? I didn't hit him. He's full health. Nobody's hit the dog? I thought they got hit with an arrow. I shot the dog. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Harry hit the dog. Between the Harry hit the rings. dog once and G never hit it. Right. Correct. Okay, I'm going to cast another Dissonant Whispers. Wisdom 13. On what? Oh, on the dog, on the dog. Okay. It does not hit. Oh, wait, it's got to be a Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom save. Boom, 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 boom. Let us see... So that hits. Okay. Uh, 13 psychic. And it has to move its full movement speed away from me. Very nice. And the hellhound runs squealing. Off the map. And it's fast. I don't feel good about this. I feel Yell. bad. Okay. 
Gallerina. Okay. I'm going to attack recklessly at bandit number four. You cannot be stopped. <laughs> That is a 12. Does it hit? Sorry, I answered the phone real quick. Uh, Avery's here. What did you hit? And for what? 12. For number four. To attack. So, yes, that hits. Okay, rolling damage. And I attacked recklessly, so again... After this, everybody will have advantage on me until it's my next turn is over. Or, until my next turn. Something like that. My attack is 14. So that's going to kill him. Okay. How does he fall? So I, I also... I, I attack this one from, like, the top of his neck, and I go down and sever all the way through his armpit area and just, like, take off the head with the arm. Gross. Yeah. And then I'm going to move one. Uh, can Gee, I get. Did you unlock the front door? Did you can I get here? That? I did. From there. Okay. Can I get. This is like 25 by the blocks, but with the terrain and everything, can I get here? Uh, it's a five feet um, drop, so that w is part of your movement. <laughs> okay, so 30 would get me here? Then? 30 would get you there. All right, good. Then I'm standing by this this bandit, and I just scream in his ear, like, just with my full rage. Jesus. Yeah, I'm pumped meow. right now. <laughs> meow. Um, <laughs> yeah, I go, meow. <laughs> Once he becomes a bear yeah. barbarian, it changes. <laughs> That's bandit one. Cool. Bandit one kind of flips around at the uh, brush of something against his ear. Pulls out a scimitar, swings. It that hits. does not hit. That hits. Does it hit? Yeah, okay. It hits. hits four <laughs> of jigs. What was that? It's four slashing damage, so. Two. Sorry, when Avery gets here, or anyone for that matter, the dogs go apeshit. Just a hellhound. All right. So the hellhound, the... Can we take, like, a five-minute break right now? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I think my old mouse is dying. Thankfully, we have just apparently two of the exact same Corsair mouse in the drawer, so I don't know why, but it worked out for me.
I'm back when you guys are. I'm here. I'm here. I was just taking my mouse to the bin. It sucks. I'm sorry. Do you guys think you're going to survive this encounter? Of course. Be fine. Worst case, Gail will just b, -b barbarian them all to death. B, b barbarian. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. I don't think my cat liked my barbarian impression. <laughs> he has no taste. You have cat, no taste. My cat didn't like her tail today. Her tail? So they're not very trustworthy. Just today. I learned something today about snakes' tails that apparently... I thought snakes would just be immune to their own poisons, but they're not at all. And this snake bit his own tail and it had like necrosis from his venom. I was like, damn. No, damn. He played himself. Yeah. Yeah, because I guess venom is an anti venom. Back. All right. Welcome back. I really wish y'all could hear her. She makes like little. She like sounds like a Pokemon, like an 8 bit chirp. Oh, yeah. You get that? say, Pika Pika. She goes, <laughs> That does like, sound like a Pokemon. Yeah, that's really cute. It's adorable. So the Hellhound uh, comes back, comes running back to attack Gel. He leaps at him from the butt. Takes a big old bite. Hit. He does seven piercing damage. So that'd be three? Yep. Three. Yep. Gene. Um... I think I gotta help my boy. So I'm gonna come up to here. And then I'm gonna attack the hellhound. An does eight does not hit. Okay. Rip. The hellhound kind of like lunges to the side and avoids your dagger. Do you get flanking for that? I'm just curious. Um, no. I don't think so. I think it's like, like the... Uh, so if you're It'll be like north-south. Yeah. Oh, okay. Flanking, or if I'd moved up to oh. here, it would be flanking, but then I want to get attacked by this guy. Okay. Like the opposite of compass points type of thing. Yeah, yeah. That's right. All right, Harry. All right. Giancarlo at this point has stopped crying. Good. Fist and uh, it's kind of like mildly jumping up and down a little bit, like excited, like, go, yes, cheering you guys on. <laughs> Do we get inspired? <laughs> no. 
Do I get advantage oh. on all my rolls from now on? <laughs> Till the end of the game? Yep. Thanks, John Carlo. I'm filled with determination. And I scooch over and take aim at Bandit one. And do my thing. Thirteen. That hits. Seven. Nice. You hit Bandit one right in the back of the shoulder. Ow. It makes a oh, sound. Else to play with thyself and gravy. We'll cast vicious mockery on Bandit One. He fails his wisdom save. Uh, he takes four damage. If he's still alive, his next attack has disadvantage. He is still alive. Wow. Awesome. I'm honestly shocked. And Gel? Sorry, Gel was watching the birds. Um, how do they look? Bandit one and, and the Hellhound. Bandit one is uh, kind of got his hands on his knees, panting and holding onto the arrow and sticking through the front of his chest where it entered his shoulder blade. The Hellhound is on the ground in what could look like a play bow, but he's growling fiercely, like ready to attack. Okay. Right. I'm not stupid. I'm going to attack recklessly again, <laughs> which might be contrary <laughs> to my statement, but I'm going to attack recklessly. Um, and, and at uh, Bandit 1, I'm going to try to finish him off if I can. 24, does that hit? That definitely hits. And please be good. 11? And you're going to kill him. Mm. Finally! <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go through his... I'm going to slash right through his midriff and just make him two pieces where he used to be one. Pieces will slide to the side of one another, crash to the ground. The hellhound growls even more ferociously. That was his master, right? Uh, yeah. That was his master. The only master he's ever known. Well, don't worry. You'll be there soon. No! No! <laughs> I feel immense guilt. Well, the hellhound. I do have a bacon sandwich. We could try. <laughs> the <could> hellhound <laughs> is furious, growling, and... He opens his mouth and exhales fire in a 15-foot cone. Most puppies can't do that. Everybody has to make a DC-12 dex saving throw. In a 15-foot cone? Is that... Yep. I... Do I? Uh, where are you? I don't think you're close enough. Way yeah, you're not close enough. Back. Can you hit me and go? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. So you said, what was it? What was the dexterity? What was it? You have to hit a 12 dex saving throw. Dex. Okay. Remember, you have advantage. Go. 17. Gail manages to avoid the cone of fire. Oh, nice. Gene does as well, you lucky fucks. <laughs> So I take half, or how does this work? Is it 
Do I take yeah. any damage? You take half damage oh, okay. in this one. You take half damage. So, so, so instead of taking damage. 21, you take... Well, no, I would, because I don't I don't have a resistance to fire, right? Well, that wouldn't matter. You just take half, but I'm pretty sure your ability Eight. says... If you no, I think it's just danger sense. He gets advantage. There's no evasion. I get advantage on dexterity if I can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you're thinking the about G the... is the evasion. The heat from the fire breath still burns both of you. Uh, ten, oh. ten each. Ten each. Wow. Because Damn. you take twenty-one fire damage on a failed save, <laughs> or half as much on a successful one. Wow. Okay, maybe a uh, tough idea is a little risky. <laughs> yeah. But think Just of what you. if we tame him. Just so that you know, <laughs> because he's a puppy. He's done half as much damage and half as much of the abilities as he has supposed to <laughs> as an adult. So what you're saying is we can make him stronger. Breed them. Yes. Gene, you're down from that, correct? Yep. And Gail, how much health do you have remaining? Eleven. You guys don't have freaking Paladin anymore either. Nope, just me and G. <laughs> Did you rotate your character sideways? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be appropriate. I feel like you should run more. No. I Running? <sighs> All right, so don't you get to roll to get up? Is my turn? It's your turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to do a death that's save. That's save. 17, that's a save. Nice. Nice. Thank God. Nice. That's my turn. All right, Harry. Harry goes, oh. And then ask Gil, what do I do? <laughs> do you want um, me to shoot it? Yeah, yeah, I want you to shoot it. <laughs> Lights your friends on fire. <laughs> Harry gets over it. his guilt and... Hello? Hello? There we go. Yep, yep. Let's get just four to... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30... And shoots at the dog and mouths, I'm sorry. <laughs> 15? You hit the dog. Oh, eight. <laughs> oh. You hear the dog yelp. How could you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst attack you could do on Harry right now. <laughs> Harry takes one psychic Psychological damage. damage. <laughs> uh -huh. Harry definitely takes one psychic damage. And then okay. Harry loses gravy. one tear. Yes. I'm going to cast a cantrip as an action and double check my... Uh, so I'm going to do... Vicious Mockery first on the dog. Dog doesn't take any damage. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to heal Mr. G with a spell from my last spell slot. G gets five hit points, nice. and I. Five, ten. Wait, actually, I'm trying to measure something. Here. I guess I will. Oops. Finish my turn next to this brush, and that is it. Gal, you're burning. Yeah, my fury will not end. Stop, um, drop, and roll. G stands yeah, up. Just... He's All right. not looking so good. All right, guys. If this doesn't go well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm attacking <laughs> recklessly. 
<laughs> I just want to end this. I want to end him before he gets another turn. All right, if I can. All right, so I'm attacking recklessly again. 14. Uh, oh, okay. The dog just kind of, like, lunges to the side, back no! on his... No! No! And avoids your attack. Now he's okay. looking at you with kind of, like, a smirk on his face and a really deep, low growl. I'm going to move here if I can, right? Mm-hmm. Smart. And, and that ends my turn. The hellhound lunges back out at you again. Biting, why gnashing he... his teeth. Wait, why does he bite me? I've used my luck point to make so it It's the dog's turn. Oh, it's the dog's turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. It still hits. hits. I, I, oh, okay. But it was close. <laughs> <laughs> You take seven piercing damage. Okay. Reduced to three. Three piercing damage. Not doing good. <laughs> He's gripped on. Gene? Oh, is it my turn? Two of you are flanking him. I will stab him in the back. Fifteen hits, right? And that hits. Seven piercing. He yelps again, but he's still on his feet. I say, over here, you fuck. It's a weird way to pronounce dog. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yep. Harry. Cringe from the sound of his yelping. He's Harry. kind of crying and growling at the same time at this point. Out. Harry shits in a Harry. tear and a mm. short bow. 21. More. Harry, did you move your Hunter's Mark by chance? Not before it died. Uh, can uh, you can only move, move it really? after it. You can move it after it dies. Shoot. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a bonus action or whatever, so you should move it now. Can I do that? Is that okay? That's fine. The dog turns and uh and then I need to roll a D six for the mark. It's looking you straight in the eye. So uh ten Harry. damage? No, don't do it. No. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> ten uh, damage. Hellhound howls very loudly and Collapses. No! Can I saved us, Harry. You saved us. Wow, Harry, that was <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Can't Harry killed a dog with, like, his knees and just stares off into space. I knew that that dog was very dangerous and killing us, but I didn't think someone would actually kill it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. At that exact moment, you hear um, Giancarlo kind of squeal and yell, Look out! Don Carlo, what are you talking? Oh. And on the road is another hellhound. Oh shit! And a bandit running behind him. Nice and two pieces. Okay. Are we rerolling? Nope. Okay. Technically, the uh, they came out of the. Woods when uh, Gravy moved on his last turn. They saw him, so I'm just putting them in the initiative order. That's fine. I died a little bit inside. <laughs> now I gotta do it again. And Jean, <laughs> what do you do when you hear him scream? Um, let me see. That's too far. 
I don't think we can run away. I think the Hellhound's too fast. Yeah. Look. Me and Harry have to tank some damage. And I cast... Toll the Dead. On who? Third on the Hellhound. 13 with save. Or take 8 damage. The Hellhound is unaffected. Nice. Sorry about that. I was trying to check something. Is that your turn? Yep. The uh, bandit continues to move towards Giancarlo. Whoa. Harry. I use my bonus action action to move my hunter's <laughs> mark to the bandit. Nice. And I shoot him. I hope. I will use a luck point. I will use a luck to reroll. Okay, never mind. It's an eight. Uh, neither hit. He's bobbing and weaving along the road. My tears, they're obstructing my vision. Gravy. You see this all uh, holding behind you. I say, don't stand together for the dog's breath. And let's kill the bandit as quickly as possible. So John Carlo doesn't get hurt. 35 feet. I will cast Vicious Mockery on the bandit from my distance. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Um, he takes one damage, but, but he has disadvantage on his next attack. And he has to turn and run, right? No, that's... No, that was Dissonant Whispers, never mind. Yeah. That's my turn. I just climb up to the little platform here. The second hellhound runs down the road past the bandit, grabs a hold of Giancarlo by the back of his collar, drags him off. Uh oh. My turn? Yeah, Hellhounds have uh, 50 oh. movement speed, by the way. Oh, Jesus. They get to move the same speed while dragging something? Question mark? Uh, most of his speed was before he picked him up. No, I'm just wondering if uh, he's encumbered or not. He will be now. Okay. We might be able to catch up then. So, I run... I run as far as I can to here, and I'm going to throw a javelin at the bandit directly below me. I can't attack recklessly with the thrown thrown weapon, can I? Or can I? I assume so. Attack on your turn. You decide if it's reckless. Advantage on melee. Weapon attack rolls using strength. Would thrown javelin be considered melee? Or is that just... No, you're throwing... No, it's ranged. Okay, okay. So I can't use that. Then I will just throw normally. Throw and pray. An eight. And it does not hit. Okay. That's all I can do. My turn is up. Gene. Me again? Uh, I am going to... Ooh, I'm going to dash towards Giancarlo. I don't know how far away he is, but I get 60 feet from where I am, so... That's like... 
here. We not deal with the bandit first. He's he's ten feet off of the mat. I'll move him back just so that you can see him. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Um. So, are you going in front of him, beside him, behind him? Where are you going? I just want to get in range, so if he keeps running, I get an attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, so I guess I'll just move right next to him, like here, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, <clears throat> uh, you said he was 10 feet off. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I used So you dash. were at, like... Yep, it's fine. That's all I can do. All right. Here, take this full of... Bandit 5 is behind you on the road. He takes aim at Gene with his crossbow. Nope. He misses. Harry. How do you Harry. react? Harry tries to wipe the tears out of his eyes so he can freaking aim this time. <laughs> Scoots forward a bit and aims at the bandit. There, 25. <laughs> you hit. Four plus my hunter's mark, two, six damage. The uh, bandit stops in his tracks. He is hurt. Good. That's my turn. Gravy. Uh, am I dumb? Did the bandit go? And I missed it? He no. tried to attack uh, G, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. One, two, four, five. And then I know you said they're a little bit off the map, so I'm just trying to move, like, actually, like, here on the map. I know I'm probably not there. Yeah. So just and move everyone 10 feet. I'll just move left. everybody. Like, yeah. just make all of your movements two squares short yep. of where you want to go. Okay. And then I will cast... Uh... So the dog's actively pulling... The, the dog has dropped Giancarlo in front of him at this point, and he's turned to face Gene. Have at thee. Okay, so then I will reiterate... Uh... Kill the bandit, and then <laughs> cast Vicious Mockery on the dog. <laughs> so the hound has advantage on wisdom. Wisdom checks. Nice, a very wise dog. That's my turn. And he avoids your vicious mockery. And he raises his uh, muzzle to the sky and howls. Oh, whoa, whoa! You can I see tried, the steam G. coming out of his ears. Uh, the hellhound turns to Gene and uh, lunges to bite him. And you said he had he's at a disadvantage this time for something he did last time. I thought. Uh, I think that was the bandit was at disadvantage. Mm, okay. Uh, does eleven hit you? Nope. Okay. Nice. Gene avoids a vicious attack. <laughs> Good doggy, good doggy. Dog turns to face gravy and uh, growls. Gel, what do you do? Am I able to get next to them from where I'm at? To the dog? Can I catch up to them? I have 30 movement. Yeah. I'm just not sure. Yes, yes, you can. Just can move I get, forward. Can I get here to a pincering? Would this be a pincering? Yeah. No, you can only... Our... Yes, it is pin uh, pincering, but it is pincering. Can. But can I get this far? Right. You can only get that far. Okay. With oh, thirty, so anyways. Oh, it has advantage. <laughs> well, no, that's not true because you were three away, and 
you're technically two away, so you can get one past. Okay. Giancarlo so. is like cowering on the ground, like with his hands over his head, not looking. And so if shaking. I'm if I'm flanking, then that's advantage. Is that how that works? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I don't need to attack recklessly. Thank God. <laughs> um, I'm gonna attack the uh, hellhound with a seventeen. That hits. And eleven damage. Right. Hellhound kind of shrieks and uh, loses his balance for just a second. Winters his eyes closed and uh, yelps. He's still looking at Gravy, though. <laughs> right, Gravy. All right, my turn. Gene. Up. Me again? Um. Hmm. I'm just going to attack with my dagger. I guess I have advantage. I should probably roll again. 23 to hit. 23 hits. Nice. More piercing. You take the hellhound by surprise and he yelps again, a puff of smoke kind of bursting up out of his mouth nice. towards Giancarlo, covering him in soot. I'll take it. And Carlos is going to be pissed. <laughs> That's my turn. The bandit rushes up beside the hellhound and uh, lunges with his scimitar at. Hits. You take four two slashing damage. Okay. He's cackling at wounding you. Harry, how do you respond? Bad manners and shoot the hellhound. Can I shoot the hellhound without hitting anyone? Yes. I shoot the hellhound without hitting anyone. <laughs> Your arrow 15. goes right over Jean Carlo's head. Hits Jean the hellhound. Duck. Right in the oh, chest. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I forgot already. <laughs> Harry goes, doi, and then after damaging the hellhound, puts his hunter's mark on him. And that's my turn. Gravy. Hmm. (laughs) Gravy will cast Vicious Mocker. Oh, no. Seems pretty strong to my magic, so... Does the dog uh, genu- like seem attracted to me? Like, genuinely like locked onto me? Or is it just looking my direction? No, the dog is locked onto you at this point. Okay, it's like slobbering. Probably gonna yeah. try and tear me to pieces. He's puffing smoke. Out of his nose and ears, his eyes are red and locked on you. He's Five, kind of ten, barely ten. crouched, ready. Prepare to get pounce. fired. Can I push John Carlo one square? Well, sure. Uh, if he's an ally, do I have to roll? No, he's 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 kind of out of the way, anyways. So. Okay, well, the reason I moved is if John Carlo is about to get blown fire on him, I would rather he not. So are you moving or not? Well, you're saying he's out of the way, so does that mean he's right next to him still? Because that doesn't seem like he's out of the way. <laughs> no, he's not out of the way of the Hellhound. He's out of the way of you if you're moving there. Okay, cool. I'll take the flame if it means John Carlo won't get hit, based on what I understand. Okay. So you're going to move Giancarlo away just a little. Yeah. Um, Leapfrog over his head. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that'll take my action to just, like, kind of shove him out of the way, I guess. And just prepare to get burned to a crisp. And the hellhound does just that. 
He rears back and huffs and puffs. What is happening? Oh. He blows a cone of fire. Okay, let's see if I make it. Wait, hold on a second. When this says recharge five, six, what does that mean? If you roll a five or a six on their turn on a d6, they get the ability back, such as breathe fire. All right. It's had a couple of turns if you haven't made the roll. So. Am I in the range of the cone? or? I think he's blowing it on me. only person that is in range of the cone at this point is Gravy. Okay. So it gets the cone back? Gets the cone back. Okay. I rolled a six. That does not save you. Take 21 fire damage. I'm done. You can be my hero, baby. <laughs> Gravy is smoking on the ground. Don't you know the hell is hell your health? Stands above him. Where's Polly? Oh God! Oh Polly no! Polly was flying in a nearby tree. I know I didn't say it right when you burnt me to a crisp, but I was just—I kind of just assume it's not a combat pet. It's just like a pet. I can't. It's not like my familiar. Okay. Polly just kind of flies away when I'm getting arrested or <laughs> stuff like that. Do I still have uh, advantage on this flanking for this Halhan? Yes. For... Halhan has not moved, Gel, so what do you okay. do? <laughs> you red X yourself. I didn't. I saw that red X. I was like, dang, I didn't know it was that bad. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to attack the Hellhound again. 23? That hits. Uh, 13. Right. Please die. The Hellhound is very much alive. Oh, really? He's okay. still kind of uh, hacking and coughing out soot, but now he's turned towards you. Awesome. Red eyes locking on you. I love the attention. Not really, but we got to kill this guy, and that's my turn. Gene. Uh, how bad is the bandit hurt? Uh, the bandit is kind of uh, holding on to the the dog's back, kind of like leaning over. And how bad is that one? Really? The hellhound has a, quite a few arrows in him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's still upright and. Uh, he doesn't. Ap he doesn't appear to be backing down anytime soon. Okay. Um, I will attack the bandito with my dagger. Ten to hit. Are you flanking by chance, G? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm sorry. If I'm not, I will move one square. That attack. <laughs> Okay, roll again. Not 24 Ooh. definitely hits him. And that's going to kill him. Nice. How do you run up on this bandito? Just for my understanding, I know it doesn't matter, but just for my understanding. So you hit a critical on that, right? So technically that would be, would you get an extra attack die on a critical? Or does it automatically, is that three the extra that it rolled in the thing? Yeah. Okay. So it, do you. it doubles your dice, not your like bonus damage. So your rage wouldn't double, for instance, but right. your D12 would roll again. Okay. Thank you. As the bandito. So I'm gonna run up to the bandito, and I'm gonna say, "Hey, doggy, look at this!" and stab him right in the neck. The, the uh, hellhound turns to see his. Uh, new master. This hellhound is also a puppy. 
by the way. Thank God. The Hellhound turns to see his master uh, get knifed in the neck, and he his eyes go from red to yellow. <laughs> and he uh, he lowers his head towards the ground, and his uh, fur bristles on the back of his neck, and he is Great. aimed firmly at you, Gene. Perfect. That's my turn. That's you, Harry. Mission title, Party Commits Animal Abuse. <laughs> well, I aim at the doggy, which I have marked this time. I'm going to use my luck point and reroll. Not 20. Wowza. Look at these rolls! So Out of luck. Now you're fighting a hellhound. You hit the hellhound. Plus Hunter's Mark. 10 damage. Does uh, that include the to, critical? Yeah, you get to re-roll yeah. uh, roll another Hunter's Mark. Oh, I, wait. Because you crit. Old damage dice are doubled. Uh -huh. 14. And your crit kind of takes the hellhound uh, by surprise, and he looks shocked for just a second as you end his life. And Why do I get just... the killing blows on both of them? No! You must have done something real fucked up in your life. How do you murder this poor dog, Harry? No! These puppies, Harry. How do you murder these puppies? No! Harry, just tears come out of his eyes as you just hear the strangled art as it goes through its neck. Oof. And the hellhound falls. One last puff of smoke. Does the hellhound escaping uh, choke his on its nose. own blood? No. <laughs> The uh, smoke is ended by the blood, putting the final fire out in its belly. Harry is on the ground, hands face in his hands. And that is the end of the encounter. Hooray! I will attempt so, CPR on... <laughs> no, I'm I will cast Healing Elixir and pour it down Gravy's throat. Ready? Nine HP. <laughs> no more than me. He's alive. Okay. Polly comes and lands on your shoulder, checking to make sure you're okay. Kind of pecking at you. I do react to Polly. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Polly. I'm just traveling with idiots. She's pecking the burnt skin flakes off of me. I say angrily, and uh, Bur Gravy actually gets up and he says, Why didn't you listen to me? Looking at Gail and Harry. And it, Gravy is saying this in character, specifically. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> well. Harry looks up confused. <laughs> you wouldn't be laughing if it was your life. I'm glad I asked you're okay you guys right to now. take care of the bandit, <laughs> and you, neither of you listened to me. What's up with that? Are we just going to travel and not trust each other? No, no, it's nothing like that. Just when I'm in full rage, all I see is blood. Well, you made a deliberate decision. Gail says to, or Gary says to Gail and Harry. Anything Harry. to say, Harry? Harry just shakes his head and mumbles, I'm sorry. Puts his face back in his hands for a minute. Harry's Harry's sobbing. <laughs> Pick uh, John Carlo off the ground. Not that he's like prone or anything. 
right, no one died. That was fun. Giancarlo, are you okay? Giancarlo is just kind of like laying on the ground, completely unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's uh. I'll give him lost CPR. his faculties. CPR with extra tongue. You can see his uh, pants are wet. Uh, happens <laughs> to the best of us. Well, I guess we can continue investigating the crash unless we get it ambushed again. Can we have a break really quick? Like 15 minutes? <laughs> like real life no, or in game? In game. Yes. Oh, oh, short yeah. wrist. Oh, yeah. I also wouldn't mind it in real life. I'm roll all my hit dice. Hooray. Yeah, take another five minute real life break too. Isn't there, isn't there like, if I just push the short rest button, does it automatically reset everything as if it was a short rest? Yep. And roll 20? Sure. I didn't do anything. It won't roll your hit dice or anything, though. You have to click Harry. roll dice. Oh, wait, you guys use a different. Harry takes the time to wipe his face and pick up his arrows. What do I roll? What Because the. A d12 thing. plus your constitution modifier. There's also a button in the middle underneath your health that says hit dice. And you should just be able to click that if you want to. You guys all get back three on top of it. Nice. I cast. Or I. I feature Song of Rest. Appreciate it. You said under my health, right? Yeah. Let's Current see a HP, button. temporary hit points, and then it says hit dice. Oh, okay. 15? That's your health back. And you said three more? Yep. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna Five cast. minutes, yeah? Okay, I'm back. Crazy.
Well, I'm back. I'm back. I'm here as well. I'm back. I'm here as well. Can I pick up my javelin? <laughs> Did I throw? Yep. Can I pick it up. Is Harry back? And I dropped something. Do you guys realize how good the rolls got for everybody at the end of that fight? Like yeah, when our lives really were all lucky. on the line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're all almost dead. God, I, that was so close. I, I honestly I thought we were about to wipe. I wasn't too worried. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those hellhounds, they do seven um, fire damage, but then they do, at the same time, they do... Uh, Uh, seven piercing damage plus seven fire damage. So 14 damage every time they hit you with a bite. And 21 with every time they do fire breath. And their armor class is only 15. But they had 45 hit points. They were tough. They get a ton of, like, other things. I actually put them into a combat generator and it told me that. Uh was an acceptable fight for you guys. <laughs> it was fine. So, well, you I had to half all the damage and the abilities. Well, you, you should have done the damage correctly because um, Gale's rage doesn't protect against fire, so he would have been taken like one quarter damage or whatever. You would have been. No, I wouldn't have been. I saw a spell slot for shield. Well. Absorb elements, you mean? No, no. Shield wouldn't have blocked the fire down? Yeah, it would. It gives me 5 AC, so you wouldn't have hit. Oh, from the bite, yeah. Yeah. You guys will level after this again as well. Nice. Oh, wow. Well. Very good. You want to see that now or later? So, uh, do we'll it later. Do it okay. So, what are you guys doing now after your short rest? Is that. Harry back? Yep. Wait on Harry first. Us. I'm back. Welcome back. Hi. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cast Healing Elixir because it actually lets me keep the elixir to use later. Um, I have 24 hours to use it, so I'm just going to pop it now and have it for later. I'm going to search the Hellhounds for some sort of summoning scroll or piece of paper, Something like invisible. the Abyssal. <laughs> yeah. I'll search the bandit in front of me, whichever one that is. Harry, what are you doing? I'll pick a different bandit. Start searching him. Which bandit? Bandit one. Bandito one. Um, all right. Roll investigation. 18. So on Bandit 1, you find a crossbow instead of, of bolts, a scimitar, a small leather pouch with a total of two gold. Keep the pouch with the gold. I grab the crossbow and bolts and I ask the group, does anyone need a scimitar? Ian Gravy, more, more y'all, you're looking for a sword. Does that work for either one of y'all or not? If Gravy doesn't need it, I'll take it. But uh, I don't think I can use it. Is it a martial weapon? Yeah. It's a martial weapon? I yeah, I can't it. use it. Mm 
Gene, do you already have a weapon? Uh, I'll take it if you don't want it. I don't mind either way. I'm happy to use my dagger or upgrade. I'm usually at a range that you can take it. Okay. If there's a second one, I'll take it. Weapon light. One d six. No crossbow versus my short bow. Galadriel, please. Galadriel, you're in the way. Is it a hand? Is it a light crossbow? Yes, it is a light crossbow. Uh, does anyone want my dagger? Because I'm not going to use it anymore. I would save it and sell it in the town. Yeah, yeah but I'm just wondering if anybody can use it happened. in the meantime. Uh, I already have one right now, so I'm okay. okay. I think I'm good. I'll take the spear. Awesome. Does it look legendary? It does not. <laughs> um, this says Bandit 1, but I uh, deleted the wrong one, so this is just a different one. Okay. Gravy was searching the Hellhound by him. Gravy, the Hellhound that you are searching, roll investigation. Natural one. Um, all you find on... Uh, the hellhound is uh, just the uh, pieces of broken arrows that broke when they hit him. Okay, okay. He was wearing nothing, carrying nothing. And I'm searching the bandit next to me. Uh, roll investigation. Well, on this particular bandit, you find a light crossbow and set of bolts as well, and a scimitar. Does uh, anybody want a light crossbow? No. Can't use it. You can use it in offhand. Anybody that needs it, Gene, can you use a light crossbow or. Um. And uh, Harry, do you, do you want the scimitar? I'll take it. Okay, i give the scimitar to Harry. I think light crossbow is still two-handed. The hand crossbow is off-handed. I thought a I, I thought light one was one-handed. But light remember. crossbow is only There's... a simple weapon as well. Oh, yeah. I can take a light crossbow yeah. then. Do you want it? Yep. It's all yours. I haven't been keeping track, so can everybody keep track of what they're looting from this particular... Yep. Yeah, I um, got it. Got it. Uh, uh, Gene, you want to search something? Um, Dealer's choice. I do not want to. Really? I got a really bad investigation. <laughs> I do too. Worth a shot, otherwise so one person has to look at everything. That's fine. Go ahead. Go for it. I believe in you. All right, I will search uh, Bandit 6, I guess. Uh, 
a four. <laughs> that has nothing to do with your. <laughs> that's you just bad luck in general. You find nothing on uh, Bandit Six. He's uh, he's empty. He doesn't even have his uh, crossbow or scimitar on him any longer. Interesting. Has Bandit Three been searched? No. I'll nope. get him. Gravy. You're gonna be moving towards. How do I get this to stop auto popping out? I guess I can look at the other dog. Okay. 19. I'll just move to this one. Uh, Harry, on this bandit, uh, you find the customary scimitar, crossbow, and bolts. You find another pouch with mm. six gold and 20 silver. I bring the pouch to the group. And split it evenly. <laughs> Except for Harlow. I'd honestly much, I'd I'd honestly much do rather... <laughs> yeah, I'd really much rather one person take the gold. I do not want to split everything four ways. Yeah, we can just do it later when we shop or whatever. Like, if we ever shop together, then, you know, it is what it is. But splitting six into f four and then 20 into four and all that stuff. Harry nods and just keeps the gold. How much silver was in there? 20. Okay. Uh, what about four? Was four who you were searching, G? Uh, the one. The one G, G searched you is went away. Uh, I think G's next to four right now. Gravy is searching the Hellhound for a nineteen. You were. Gravy. Gravy. No, no. Sorry, my Discord keeps disconnecting, so I can't hear you guys. Like. Time. He, he's he's next to four right now, but he hasn't rolled yet. Yeah, and Gravy has rolled for. His okay, guy. you did roll a four for investigation. That was for the yep. other guy that you deleted. Okay, yeah, that was was that for six or for four? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah, it was six. Because I thought that Gail, uh, did him, but I just want to make sure I've deleted the appropriate ones. Yeah, I think they're all gone. The right ones. And Gravy, you're looting this other hellhound now? Yeah, I'm just looking for any source of summoning you, or natural effect. You notice um, when you roll the hellhound over that there's something glittering around its neck. Okay. I try to release it and take it. Um, and you are holding what looks like a necklace or a small chain. Okay. Eighteen for Bandit Four. Nice. Uh, Gene, on Bandit Four, you find again the customary scimitar, crossbow, bolts, and you find a small pouch with three gold, twenty silver. Okay. Well, not twenty, eight. Eight silver. You got it. Crossbow. Scimitar. Bolts. And oops. I rolled a natural twenty on the last one. Um, Gal, on this particular, <clears throat> excuse me, on this particular bandit, you find a scimitar, you find a gold pouch with 11 gold in it. Thank you. And in his pocket, you find what appears to be a pocket watch it's made of silver.
All right. Do you guys all bring your um, items together? Are you sharing? What did you decide? Uh, we already split yeah. everything, basically. You're going to keep everything separate. Yep. I mean, I shot a cool necklace. I don't know what it is. Where'd you get it from? I got it off the second hellhound. Can I look at it? Yeah. Uh, I'd like to make an arcana check, if possible, Cricket, to see if it has any magical properties. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> Roll arcana. All right. Five. You don't get a trace of any type of um, okay. superior magic coming off of it, but as you, uh, as he passes it over to you, Gel, you notice that the necklace looks awfully familiar. Necklace. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Gel? Yes. And uh, if it will make you feel better, I'll hand you this pocket watch that I found. Sure. Here's your necklace back. Thank you. And I hand you the pocket watch, silver pocket watch. I haven't looked at it yet or done anything with it. I don't know if there's anything important. Pocket watch. I'm back. <laughs> uh, so, did you give him the necklace? I gave Gil and I gave him the pocket watch. Okay. I don't know what is going on with my Discord. It's like it DCs and it'll come back. It gives everybody a yellow exclamation mark. Mm. It's probably because I'm in two Discords right now. It's never done that before, but. Put the necklace uh, on my on the string on on my my side. How did you come about that necklace, Gil? This uh, necklace is very dear to me. Um, I found it in my mother's belongings before I left home. Um, the only connection that I I believe I have to my my father, and maybe the only clue that I have now to find him. Damn, would have been real rude if I kept it. Kinda, <laughs> kinda, yeah. It's or the last possession the of my father. Without letting him see. <laughs> well, I'll investigate this pocket watch. I guess maybe we might it's have magical. tested out that P no PVP rule after that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I appreciate it, uh, Gravy. Thank you. It's a no PvP rule include accidents. <laughs> you want to take a look at that that watch and see if there's anything on it? I was thinking maybe like maybe there's initials or something on it or some. Is this wording. a normal pocket watch, uh, Dia? Are you rolling for that information? Uh, yeah, if you tell me what to roll. Are you simply asking somebody in the party? <laughs> no, yeah. If you tell me what to roll, I'll roll it. Okay. So, I want you to roll history. Ooh. Well. Just staring at it, looking for initials or something like Gil said. Can I help him? Oh, you can help him. Yeah, I'm with history, yeah. You're the the buff. The yes. leader and the group. Roll again, or do I roll? Here, I'll, I'll hold it up to... Like, I'll look at it, and then I'll hold it up to Harry and say... Like, Just roll you know, again with advantage. Since it's the two of you, and Harry's history is pretty good. For me or for Harry? You go ahead and roll again with advantage. Because Harry's helping you. I would rather show it to Harry so that they can roll then. Okay. Harry, take a look. And roll just regular, not, without, not with advantage. Huh. Nice. <laughs> Ten. Ten. I'm still not myself yet. 
It appears to be made out of a very soft, handcrafted silver. It doesn't appear uh, special at all, but you don't really know. Very Honestly, pretty. I'll just wear it, and then if someone ever says that's my watch, maybe we can figure that out. Have you tried opening it? I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I just stared at it. <laughs> I'll open it. And I'm just assuming that I would look at it in every opening and stuff and don't find anything. You don't find anything. Okay. Did you guys want to look back at the carts or are we done here? Uh, no, no, we definitely, I think we need to look at the carts. Yeah. Okay, I will take a look More. at the carts since I didn't look earlier. And I'm I'm just going to search around in the woods, this area over here, where I think some of the bandits were over here, see if I see anything or anything in this general area. Well, it's interesting that we're attacked by bandits because I doubt they could erase our memories, so it might just be a coincidence. Maybe. Harry looks at the ground to see if there were any tracks that weren't trampled by the attack. I think, Gene, maybe if you want to just stay with Giancarlo since the dog tried to drag him one point. Got it. I just find it, I mean, I say out loud to the party, like, I find it weird that they targeted Giancarlo, though. Maybe they thought he would be easy prey and would make it a good, good snack. I guess so. Maybe they're attracted to the smell of piss. Or his uh, connection maybe. to the mayor, maybe. Who knows? Harry, roll investigation. All right. Eight. You don't notice any tracks other than um, just muffled ones of the uh, boots of the people you've been fighting and obviously hellhound prints. I evidently we used all my rolls for combat. Can we see any further now that Gravy's moved over? Now that uh, Gravy and Harry have moved over, they can, but you can't. Okay. Technically. Okay. Just more ledges, Gil. <laughs> Thanks for the info. Hey. It's good to explore around. You never know where there's a hellhound lurking. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Did uh, Gravy find anything in the cart? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, can I look at the cart? Yeah. yeah, Gravy, roll investigation. 19. Good Lord, it's so hot in here. Um, you look around the cart and you don't see anything that they didn't see before. It's it's pretty yeah. stripped. So this was pretty much a trap, most likely. Can we try to lift the cart up and see if there's a hidden compartment on the bottom like the other one? Yeah. Sure, Gene. Yeah, lift it up. <laughs> Go lift check it. it out, Gal. Lift it up, you motherfucker. Wait, who's lifting? I'm not lifting. Me. I'm not helping. I have a negative How long's one. it been, by the way? Am I still raging? I'm guessing that's over by now. We took the short <laughs> rest. Yeah, it's definitely gone. I'm not yeah, your rage ends anything. as soon as you're not hit or attack anything. Okay. So then roll investigation, whoever's lifting. I'm lifting with investigation. 17. So you don't see anything other than the same boards peeking through the top that are mostly uh, worn away. The underneath has been stripped of uh, axles, so just kind of the base box of the wagon is what you end up lifting. Um, All metal's been stripped from the wagon. Which way is the wagon, like, which direction was it headed, can we tell? No, because it's, um... Okay, that's fine. It's like a vertical in the road, yeah. and the wheels have been removed except for the one that's broken. Yep. Um, the front, what would be the front of... The uh, wagon and attachments are facing south. But you don't know which direction, left or right, east or west, they were going. Okay. 
I guess we just keep heading. Uh, I guess we should take Junk Collar back. Yeah. I think what you should. Um... I'm not gonna. Never mind. I was searching down here. Did I see anything down here before? There's nothing that you uh, see other than just dense forest. No uh, particular sounds. Everything's extraordinarily quiet. Do we know which direction they were coming from when they attacked us? Both sides. We had Both one sides. guy coming down from the south, right? You guys well, remember you had a group here, a group mm -hmm. here, a group here, and a group here. Okay, all sides. Um, is it normal? I'm gonna ask the group. Is it normal for bandits to have hellhounds? Is that a normal thing? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I lived out in the woods. I've never seen anything like I've never this. Seen hellhound before. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> I asked John Carlo if he's seen anything like this before. John Carlo still passed out. Really? Oh. Hello. Can I see? Giancarlo is still passed out. Harry tries to remember what he knows about hellhounds. Giancarlo kind of uh, rouses with a start, like, "Oh, oh, am I dead?" Not yet. I don't think so. He looks around and notices everybody is alive. Did we win? Nope. Oh no. Well, you all look fine. I just meant you didn't <laughs> win. We did. No problem. What happened? I got attacked by some sort of fiery wolf. Do you know anything about bandits and their... abilities? Ugh, oh, no. I have no experience in this life. I belong in the manor. Where I... Succeed in all things. He straightens out his lace uh, of his sleeves and notices that he's pissed himself and returns his nose to the air, just pretending like it didn't happen. I ask him if he noticed if any of these men uh, that attacked us, he should be able to see them. I'm guessing if any, if he recognizes any of them or have seen them before come through the town. No, no, nothing of what we saw is anything I've ever seen, and certainly never seen dogs like those. Ugh. It was so hot. I think he's burned me. And he's, like, reaching through his shirt, like, on his back, like, where the hellhound had a hold of him. Trying to reach to the bite. I ask uh, Gravy if, uh, let's whisper over to Gravy and ask him, um, Gravy, do you think maybe we should ask Giancarlo if he's ever seen that watch, or do you want to keep it to yourself? Or? I show him my wrist. You recognize this watch, Giancarlo? No, I don't believe I've ever seen anything like that. Doesn't look particularly worth remembering. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Giancarlo, we're going to take you back to the manor. I think that that would be appreciated. Got to walk. Kind faster. of like lowers his head a little bit. <laughs> well, let's get a move on. Don't walk so slow this time. Giancarlo is huffing it. He is like. Oh, so you can move fast. <laughs> he is like He's already dirty. The down the road, trying like the little like wide set because he's chafing from the piss already. Huh. Polly, keep up with him. Come on, guys. The old <laughs> man can run. He's definitely in the front of the pack. <laughs> That's funny. <as> well. <laughs> I 
Hello. Hey. Hold on. Huh? Okay. Um, did I DC again? No. no. I'm here. Sorry. Did you guys ask me something? Everyone's really quiet. Oh no, I'm I'm getting a little sleepy as all, well, but I didn't ask anything. We're huffing it back to protect the butler. Okay. So we're gonna stop here so you guys can level your characters. Very um nice. and then you don't have to do anything um too particular. Uh Victoria's sleepy and uh you'll just be returning Dingus here to his <laughs> Palace to uh, run inside and get changed, leaving you in the uh, foyer here. Let me gather you guys up and move you back to the Lord's Manor. It's probably for the best. I don't think he liked it out there. I don't think he did. He seemed rather vocal about it. So, uh, Bailey Shof is nowhere to be found. Giancarlo you leaves you guys in the foyer and tells you to uh, make yourselves at home. So, that's where we will end it. Um, nice. You guys can go ahead and level. Okay. And make any notes that you want to make. And... Sorry, it's just long combat. You guys just decided to go to the big combat zone right away. Apparently. Me. Yeah. All right. Sometimes oh that's what happens. Which subclass? When we all return, we'll be a bit stronger. Or dead. Hopefully not dead. Well, you should be level three. Yeah. And that's, I think, pretty good to mm-hmm. move forwards. What happens at level three? That's a key milestone. No, is it four is a key one, right? Something special three is where I two. usually start. For most classes, three is where you get your actual class. Mm. You get your totem or whatever the fuck. Oh, yes. Nice. Yeah, unless you are a wizard. Yeah. I think Harry might be one. Did you see how he dealt with the demon dogs? <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Harry stares off into space thinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Honestly, I'll have to think about this a little bit. I don't know. You need someone to talk to. There's probably someone in town that can help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> if you need to talk, don't talk to me. <laughs> I think maybe the ladies over at the bakery could talk to you about the dogs. Need to take a moment. It just hits too close to home, you know? Hi. I'm not one for killing animals, but those look fierce. Thought they were. Oh, it was a great night, guys. Really enjoyed it. GG. And we almost only almost lost one party member again. Two. No, two actually. Okay. Yeah. Three Three and birdie. Next time that it'll be three. I was really hmm. close to being three. I was. I that had that encounter set up for you guys again. <laughs> at like a higher, yeah. higher level. So. <laughs> But we, we came out stronger for it. We came out stronger it's for true. it. It's true. You got a lot of loot from it. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, because you guys were supposed to fight everyone at once with two hounds. With fire, cones of fire. Oh my god, that would... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 21 damage. Fire damage. Is- 14 or 21 damage if they hit every single yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> you would have a blast. Percent of the time, you also would have had an additional party member, which you don't have, so 
Did we ever hear anything about? Did Bliv ever contact you again? Do you? Do you she know? never responded to me ever again. Okay. So, no idea. Well, that's D and D for you. That's D and D. It's a pretty big commitment. I I definitely understand. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all you guys, and this is really a highlight of my week. I enjoy it. Well, since what? I have kind of Fun. scheduled to play until nine, um, while you guys are living up, do you guys have like questions? Does anybody want to talk about oh, what, what about where, they where came we live? From? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Um, no. I mean, I would have came from a wooded area. Or do we need? Is this general open chat talk? Yeah, just yeah, look okay. at the maps and and tell me like. I would have been in a wooded area, so you know where I'm from. Whatever makes yeah. sense. Um. I mean, I would have been headed towards a town uh, to find out information. Um, maybe I stopped in Heartfelt along the way from where I was coming, or was going to stop by there. I'm just trying to think logically. So what would make more sense for where I lived? I think I'm from the Platelet Mountains, wherever those birds were perched. Okay. I'll make some notes in you guys' character sheets right now, then. You know, there's a section that says... Um, it's a section that says only visible to GM. You guys can't see it. <laughs> well, secrets. I think I'm going to be from somewhere in the marshlands, but I don't know if my tribe would still be there or not, because I, I don't know how long it's been since I died. Oh man, I'll have to think about this. Oh. I'm going to have to devote leveling up to when I have some more brain power. I usually yeah, yeah. lay down at nine my time, this but it's the choice. weekend. So I party hardy and stay up an hour late. Gravy, you're from the mountains? Yeah. Yeah, north or oh, east? North of the, yeah, north. And I think I just was, like, leaving after the ethnic cleansing. Oh, Jesus. We know where Harry's from. Jean, you're from the marshlands? Yeah. Easy peasy, guys. That's, that was quick. Um, yeah, it makes sense because we're probably all kind of from here. Well, I mean, you could be from any of the places on the the continent map as well. Too far. <laughs> I think. I mean, as long as I'm from a wooded area and. It makes sense. I think I would have been headed to the largest city to find out information. So whatever, like, got me to Heartfelt going that way, right? The Heartfelt area would have been in between me and Moravian, I think would make the most sense. Um, did everybody keep track of what they got loot-wise, money-wise? Because I, yeah. I wasn't keeping track of anybody's money. I updated and... all mine yep. in I'm my sure character sheet, did. yeah. I got a crossbow okay. and a watch. Yeah, I got a scimitar, 11 gold, and my necklace back. There you got. What was it? Like, 8 gold, 20 silver, a scimitar, crossbow, and a lot of trauma. <laughs> <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> And by given, you mean giving money to your psychiatrist. <laughs> I'm going to walk in the bake bakery next episode and lay down at the table and say, give me some tea. and <laughs> Give me the strongest tea you've got. <laughs> it's the tea, kind of cringes at it. It's like, whatever, I don't got anything else. <laughs> we can take you over to the library next episode and you can um, just like lay with the animals and pet them. And... On the next episode. <laughs> 
Need a cat cafe. Next time. A cat cafe. <laughs> It's actually a turtle cafe, and it's just full of, like, little streams and, like, banisters of the stairs or little, like, aquariums. And there's little baby turtles that swim through it. That's fine with me. That's even better. GG's, everybody. Thanks for the combat. Okay, night-night. Good night. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Thank you. Thank you all.